Canada in World War I. Changing ways of life in Canada. World War I was from 1914 to 1918, and although the war was fought mostly in Europe, Canada also participated in the war. Canada is what's known as a constitutional monarchy, but at the time we were part of the British Empire. At least 60,000 Canadians were killed during World War I, and it was generally young men who went to war. Life before the war. In the early 1900s, Canadians began to change their way of life. Where they used to live off the land and rely on resources around them for survival, many began to move to cities and towns to find jobs. They would work in factories, shops, and offices. Manufacturing or making things had begun, and they needed workers to make all sorts of new pro products. So what was happening was called the Industrial Revolution. We were becoming more industrialized, we had factories, we had shops, and so people no longer solely lived on the farm they were able to live in urban centers. Jobs in Canada. So prior to the war, men typically held jobs like factory workers, carpenters, bricklayers, painters, and farmers, whereas women typically held jobs of cooks, maids, or working in sewing factories. That was if they weren't raising their families. Life during the war. During the war, Canadian factories began making equipment and supplies for soldiers. Canada also shipped meat and grain to Europe since much of their farmland was being destroyed by the war. The war kept farmers and factory workers very busy during this time. It was also during this time that factory owners, businessmen, and government workers were starting to get a little bit rich. They were benefiting from the war. And while there were lots of jobs, not a lot of them paid very well and lots of families had many kids. So there were a lot of families living in poverty in Canada as well during this time. Changes in women's jobs. Since many of the men were away fighting the war, women needed to fill new roles. They began to work in stores or factories. They participated in helping make guns, ammunition, and airplanes for the war, which was dangerous work. Women would help also with the harvest at farms, which is not something they typically had done in the past. These were new jobs for women and started a big change in their rights. So these were just some of the impacts of the war and what they had on life in Canada.